Okay, uh, so this week uh, we will talk about functions and also next week uh, we will we are talk about classes. So functions and classes uh, are the way that we can um, combine our codes uh, into um, separate sections so we can use those code multiple times and to uh, resolve the same problems. All right, so let's first uh, look at functions. So functions are just a, a piece of the Python code or the rules that can take a zero or multiple inputs. And also normally they will retain a corresponding output. <clears throat> okay, uh, so when you define a function, so basically if this is a function, so you provide the input and they give you the output. And using functions will make the program easier to write Okay, and because uh, if you have, let's say, do the calculations, the same calculations or to resolve the same problems multiple times, and you can use a function and also you can use that function uh, to, uh, to do the same job multiple times. So you don't need to write all the same Python code. And it is easier to read. So for the other programmers, so they just need to understand your function one time and next time, next next time when you see when they see the functions, so they will know that what they are doing. And for the same reasons, so it's easy to test and also fix the problems because we just we just need to understand the same piece of Python code just once, and <clears throat> later on we can see when you are when we are using functions, so we know what they are doing. All right, so. To define function, we use the DEF keyword, where uh, followed by this function name and parentheses. And within this parentheses, uh, you have to tell what arguments you want to receive, so those will receive those input. And also, do not forget the colon. And after that, you need this indentation, so that tell Python, okay, so those code belong to this function. Uh, so you can design your code here. Uh, you can also define decide whether or not you want to return the result. So if you have the return statement, so that will return that will return the output of this function. And that is also means that when Python executed return and the function will stop, it will be terminated. So that is how we can define a function. And if we want to call a function, we just simply that function name, parentheses, and also tell what the are, what are the required input, and that it will return the function. So we have already used multiple functions that are already built in the Python, like the len function. Okay, for that input. It can be a sequence of the list on the string. OK, so that is function name. And also those are the argument. And it will return the number of the items that are within this uh, list or within this string. OK. So let's define our first function. So first, let's go to our local repository. and then update our local repository and let's create a new file so this is lecture 8 and for this lecture we will talk about functions all right so let's define our first function so def so that is a uh, keyword of defining a function and for the function name let's call it my function and here, let's just define two arguments. <clears throat> okay. And here, let's say we want to calculate. So if the user provide two numbers, we want to calculate A plus B. So result equals A plus B. And let's return the result. Okay. So now we have just defined our function. So DEF, the function name, here we have two arguments and within this function so we have those two input that inputs from user 
result equals a plus b. And next, we return the result. So now let's call this function. So to call the function, we can just my function. And now let's provide inputs. So one and also two. OK, and let's print that output. So print <coughs> one plus two. And now let's run it. And now you can see we have three. And you can try different numbers. OK, so here we just defined our first uh, function. So now let's uh, talk about some more terminologies in a function. So arguments. So argument is a piece of information that passed from the function. Uh, so to call a function. So <clears throat> those arguments can be positional all can be the keyword okay so if we are using this positional way to pass information so the order matters so for example in my function uh, where we have a and b so when we are going to call in my functions so the first number will always to be to pass to a and also the second number will always pass to b so that is the, the way that we call it uh, the positional arguments and we can also use a keyword so for example my function where we can say b equals 1 a equals 2 so if we specify that okay so for the uh, b argument the value is 1 and also for the a argument the value is 2 so this will pass to b and this will pass to a Okay, so that is the way that you can use a keyword uh, argument so that you can, um, by doing that, you can, the, the order that will not matter. Uh, you can also give it a default value for the function. For example, if you say, okay, b equals zero when you're defining the function. So, and if you don't, def when you call the functions, let's say my function, and if you just give it one number, and in that case, uh, that is positional function. So in that case, two will are passed to A, and also the function will use the default value here, B equals zero, to uh, run this function. <clears throat> okay, so that is positional and also keyword, and also you can define the default values for your functions. And inside of those functions, those arguments are assigned to the variables, and those variables are called parameters. So for example, in my previous example, we see that result equals a plus b. Okay, so here a, b, and also result are all variables. They, those are all parameters. And we said you can define the default value for each parameter, so like we did here. And remember that those parameters are local, so they can only exist inside of this function. So for example, here the R, A, result, A and B, those are only inside of this function. So when you call, when you want to call those variables outside functions, uh, you will have errors. Okay, so let's see what does that mean. So here we see that we have two uh, argument, okay? And argument inside those functions are called variables, uh, parameters, sorry, parameters. So we have result A and B. And so when we call the functions, we can see uh, one we are passed to A and uh, two we are passed to B. Okay, and let's see, print A is A. Okay, and let's print inside this function b is b all right so let's see here we see uh, a will be one and not b will be two so now if we run it <coughs> oh sorry we, we should have the a is comma otherwise that is a check a check whether or not the id equals the same <laughs> okay so now we can say a is one, b is two, and also result is three. Okay, so that is we because we put a as first, that will pass to a. 
and this is two is the segments that will pass to B. So if we switch the order, so in the, in this case, A will A is two and also B is one. Okay, you can see A is two and also B is one. So that is using the positional fun, uh, <coughs> positional argument. We can also use that as a key van, um, keyword argument. So for example, we just tell B equals two and A equals one. Okay, so by doing that, so no matter how the order you defined, B will receive number two and A will receive number one. Okay, so now we can say B is two and also A is one. Okay, and we can also give the default values. Okay, so for example here, we give B equals zero, so that is the default value. And now if we just pass one argument, oh, and that will pass to B or to A, and B will use the default value. So here you can see A is one and B is zero. Okay, so that will give us a default value. And those parameters are local, so for example, if we want if we want to print a, we will have an error. <clears throat> okay, because uh, we have a name error because a is not defined because a, b, and also result are within this function. So if you try to print result, okay, you can see this error. So result is not defined. Okay. Uh, fruitful functions and so if functions retain results those are called fruitful so basically um, if a function has this return uh, statement so that is called fruitful a function can retain any kind of values like lists and also dictionaries and also we said normally we will, we will return that we will return the result in a tuple okay uh, if function don't return a result or return none, so those are called void functions. Okay, so those are called void functions. So just the terminology that what are the fruitful functions and also what are the void functions. And as soon as the return statement runs, the function will be terminated. Okay, so the function will stop when it when Python runs the return statement. Okay, so let's go back to our example here. So right now, um, we have a fruitful function. Okay, so that we will return the result. And if we run it, you can see the function printed A is one, B is zero, and also the function returned the value one, which is the result. So however, if we do not have this return, now this function is a void function, so it will return. If you print the function, it will return now. So let's try it. You can see it will still execute those two print functions, but it will return now, okay? Because that is a void function. 